In just a few hours, nearly 700 people will descend on Raleigh to take the North Carolina bar exam. Some are worried about possible exposure to the coronavirus. CBS 17's Janice Price running us live this morning with their concerns and also what precautions are in place. And it looks like, Jamise, some people are already showing up. That's right. Some folks are going to start taking their exams around 7 o'clock this morning, and the other group will start around 8 o'clock. But uh, this line here starting to move, and more people are going inside the McKinnon Center. And you have those orange cones set up to um, help with social distancing here. But I want to tell you about uh, more than 200 people, you know, scheduled to take this exam today. Uh, they have written into Governor Roy Cooper about their concerns, and they wanted this exam to be online, but those test organizers say they aren't ready for that yet. So safety measures will be put in place today. They plan to space people out at least six feet apart in separate buildings on the fairgrounds and in different rooms here at the McKimmon Center. People who are considered high risk like cancer survivors are also being separated from other people during that exam. This exam will run for six hours each day for two days. Masks are also required and people's temperatures will be taken, but concerns about all of this still linger. But I think we're so, you know, naive to this virus. I mean, we haven't even had it here a year. And I think to I think that we are being gambled with. We're doing everything that we can with guidance from the CDC to make sure that that it's, you know, extremely safe for everybody. Now, some states have offered remote options or canceled the in-person exam altogether. Organizers here say uh, they don't want to delay this anymore because it would take much longer for uh, folks to get their license and start practicing law. Of course, we're going to keep you updated on everything that comes out of all of this. Live in Raleigh, Jimmy's Price, CBS 17 News.